So right now, we will proceed in understanding what can the length, just like what we have experienced earlier, can help us in creating or in developing a program. So what is an array length? So length attribute, it's actually where the number of elements in an array it's sort of, is actually stored as part of the array object. So again, we're talking about the array length attribute here where the number of elements are actually stored in the length array attribute, sorry, in length array attribute or in the array object. Okay, it is also used to iterate on an array as follows, just like what we experienced earlier. Uh, this is where you will, um, um, since upon checking here, uh, we are using a list array, which is actually initialized here. Then we are getting the elements inside this list array by using a length attribute, okay? And also, I will explain this kind of initialization or declaration in the next slide okay so in in initializing an array variables uh, we will be using a new operator aside from what we did earlier if we can go back to the IntelliJ there is no new here okay because actually we are uh, we are assigning a values already in our array or we are already assigning an element in our array but this time we'll be using a new operator to use to initialize an array aside from that it will allocate a memory for an object for example uh, we will allocate array size 10 so it will only accept 10 elements of an array and also it is followed by the data type with the number of elements to allocate um, to allocate specified so new then the data type or the element type like that for example 10 here there but of course we have it here so in sample just like this one if we will go back like that one okay okay there this is a good example okay so again um, the data type or the element type here will also uh, make sure that what you initialized here should be the same here it is actually invalid if you put int here then you will use float here okay here this is what I said earlier. This is actually the syntax or the format in declaring and initializing an array variables. So we have element type, then the bracket, array name, new, then the element type again, then the array size. It's also the same just like this. Like this one. There. Okay. So this is also a good example of a um, declaring or initializing a array variable. So we have boolean as our data type or our element type. Then we have results as the array name. Then we have elements here. We have elements here. We have elements here. Okay. So right now, um, I will show you how to add an element to an array. So I know already, or we know that uh, I already shared with you how to initialize, how to use the array attribute, sorry, the ar uh, length attribute of the, um, of the array, as well as how to display the elements of an array. This time, we will try to add an element of an array. So how to add it? 
So first thing, of course, I need to pull up my IntelliJ. So I need to create a new file, a new class, sorry. So this is um, example two. Okay. Example number two, I need to make it bigger. Okay. So I need to use public static. Of course, this is the main. So I need to declare it. After declaring or put typing or encoding the void main, this time, oh, sorry, I need to import first since we will let the user um, enter. Okay, we will let the user enter first an element. Okay, so we will import Java that util. Then, okay. Uh, by the way, guys, I know that some of you here are using scanner like that you can also use something like this for java uh, for array util then array since actually um sorry since actually array array list since array it's actually under the util so i think it's better that you can use all na lang, like that one okay Next one, we need to use scanner, input, then new, scanner, then system, dot in. Okay. Then we need to create, we need, we need to declare uh, an int size or we need to declare a variable size. Okay. Next, we need to let the user um, input right now so we need to enter array size so basically right now we will let the user decide uh, what is our array size or what should be our array size after that since we already used the uh, we already used the next int for the size uh, we will now create an array so in our array name it's we use our exam earlier so we will use array 2 there and then put the brackets then new then int then don't forget here guys to put the size plus the one okay next one so basically here we are actually initializing an array to array with of course for example if the user inputted um, if the user inputted um, 10 we need to add that uh, we need to add the 10 by 1 because later on in our looping we will uh, we will um, minus it by 1 Okay, you will know that one later on after I encode the for loop. Okay, so after that, we need to use the system that out that print ln. Uh, sorry, print. Then enter. Okay, one moment. Size elements. Okay, there. Then. The purpose of this one, it's you are letting right now the user to input uh, our data or the element inside our array. So this time, um, I will create a for loop for us to um, to display the value of the elements or all the elements in our array. So x less than the size then x plus plus here inside our array we need to put here system that out no 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 not yet we need to use array 2 because we are actually um, assigning sorry we are actually assigning right now um, 
the the index or the um, the x to the index of our array. Okay, so we are um, assigning input the next int like that there. So if you will check this line of code number seventeen, we are actually um, assigning the uh, int x which is for example 0 to our array 2 here okay next system that out that print ln and we will now call the array 2 then display the x then semicolon let's see if this will work let me run this one okay so okay here so i will let the user input an array size for example the user will input five five elements so you uh, the user has the um, option right now to input the five elements by spaces so for example 12 um, negative 23 45 mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so enter there so basically you are now displaying the um, um, the entered elements of the user from 12 going to 90 so here we can actually mm -hmm, one moment or it's better to put something like this na lang. then sorry. space width then comma again four mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. no because of that one moment let me stop it okay, let me run it again so four so there you go so it entered uh, we entered 34 56 7 8 and 9 so it displayed that one okay so that is actually in how to um, add element to an array so in our succeeding um, activities or in our succeeding examples I will let you or I will help you how to insert an element to an array because actually adding and inserting it's different okay also I will also help you how to get the maximum and the minimum element of an array